hi friends welcome to our today's session okay so guys in this session we are going to learn about how you can send emails using email connector in mulesoft mule4 okay let's move on to the next slide so guys before going to use this connector you must be familiar with any any point connectors how you can use any point connectors okay you should have any point studio installed okay you should have mule runtime installed in your local so that you can create a mule app and uh, see how to use this email connector so that you can perform some POCs okay so before creating an app you must have access to the anypoint platform and anypoint studio as well okay so if you want to perform that POC in your local you should have anypoint studio installed if you want to test that same mule app in the cloud hub you should have anypoint platform account available okay so let's move on to the next slide guys so guys these are the common use cases okay so email connector basically enables us to retrieve delete move and store emails from mailboxes imap email mailboxes okay you can send emails over smtp protocol as well okay you just uh, need to go to the connector configurations and you can select which protocol you want to use so, okay so you can select smtp so it will send your emails in a secured way using SMTP proto protocol okay so and also it supports uh, secure connections for all protocols over TLS okay transport layer security okay so guys without wasting time let's go to the endpoint studio and see the POC okay so we are in endpoint studio guys so you can see one listener is there okay let me configure this listener okay I will configure it as localhost 8081 okay and endpoint is uc1 I will click on save and guys here you can see under email uh, connector module you can see different operations are available so I'm going to perform this send operation okay how to send an email so if one operation uh, will be successfully performed you will get to know that how you can perform these different operations. You will be able to perform these different operations as well. Okay, using that same configurations which we are going to create now for this email connector. So that same configuration will be available for all these connectors as well. Okay, so let me configure. I will click on plus. So guys, host you need to provide as smtp dot gmail dot com okay port is fine and here I will provide the email okay and guys password so this carefully you need to configure the password and password is not the simple simple one the which you have used uh, uh, while logging your email okay not that one you need to create one different password called as app password okay so let's see how you can create app password so that's a 16 digit password basically okay for connecting apps with each other so that's the different one as compared to the normal which you basically use for logging to your email okay so let's see how you can create app passwords so I will click on this plus click on app password so guys first we need to sign into the Google with our normal password and then under app passwords we can generate that okay, I will click on this so first we need to give our password for which email uh, we want to create that app password and for what purpose okay so this part I'll be skipping work uh, let me put the password and click on next okay, I have put my password I will click next so guys there was one password called as mule app which I created okay just uh, yesterday so let me create one new password so for what reason we need app password let we can specify any app name for which we need that so we'll give the app name like 
email poc any point studio simply okay i will click on create so i got this uh, password 16 digit password i'll copy this okay i've copied this done and i will go to the anypoint studio and paste the same password and remove some spaces between them okay i've removed the spaces i will click on uh, okay okay so everything i saved now we we also need to configure one more thing okay so let me go to the advanced so guys you, you need to configure one uh, property here which is let me paste mail dot smtp dot start tls dot enable okay this you have to mark as true okay mail dot smtp start tls dot enable okay mail dot smtp dot start tls dot enable okay let me finish it okay so okay save it so we have configured uh, all the configurations so from which address we want to send those emails so we will configure the same email address which we have passed here from this email address we want to send the emails to other user to other customer maybe so i will put it and in two address we can give any address to whom we want to send that email okay so i will give some uh, email like some uh, email which i have created previously okay i have given the email or subject you can give anything okay i will give it like application slash json and i will give payload as my email this is my email okay you can also do some uh, you can also attach some attachments here in this section you can specify that file which you have in your local okay using read file uh, using the read url function okay and you can uh, pick that file and uh, attach under this attachment section okay and transfer it to whatever email you want to you can also add the uh, people people in cc bcc okay A reply to address subject so these things uh, these interesting things you can do basically okay guys so let me save it <coughs> okay so from this email address i'm going to send to the email address which i have uh, configured here okay so i will show you let me deploy this application okay. let it deploy guys the application has been deployed let me put some debugger points and let me trigger this so look, host is localhost <coughs> 8081 slash uc1 i will click on enter so guys it is saying element this is not defined in mule registry okay let me check let me stop it and see if we click on add it in line let's see okay, so guys you can also pass it like this finish okay and let me save it and again deploy it
So the application has been deployed. Let me trigger this. So guys, we have got it. I will click on the next and also open my email here. Okay. Okay, to see what we have sent. Okay, so here we should get that email which you have sent now. Okay, the last one was on September 21. So we should get now September on, on September 22. Okay, so let's see. So guys the email has been sent successfully okay no errors let's see so go you can see we got this uh, email okay and uh, to whom we have sent we have sent it to this email so let's see if this email uh, received this email or not So guys you can see so this user has received email from this unity technologies okay so that's how you can use email connector guys okay you can uh, also perform different operations so the main thing was this configuration so this configuration should be fine okay so using this same configuration you can configure these uh, different uh, uh, operations as well and see what are the uses of these different operations okay so guys uh, that that was all about this email connector i hope you understood okay i hope you will be able to use this email connector in your real time projects okay so thanks everyone guys thanks for watching this session see you soon bye